International Film Festival of um, the Hudson Valley. I'm so excited to be here with you. You're doing so many amazing things. Tell me about this event. Yes, this is our second year. Um, I'm just so happy that we're back in beautiful Monroe. We have over a hundred films playing, whether it's documentaries, shorts, features. We have all kinds of special events. And we're just happy to bring this type of event to the Hudson Valley. Yeah, no, it's so exciting. There's so many different people that you can meet here, and there's so much talent here. Absolutely. And it's something that is almost, I don't want to say undiscovered, but you got, you're discovering it, and you're bringing it out so that all the viewers can see. And that's an amazing thing that you do. Yeah, we're just, the talent that's here, so many local films that were shot here. We're so happy that there's local premieres. We even have an award, Best Hudson Valley Film. So we love to recognize our local filmmakers. That's exciting. And do you have any of the projects that you actually worked on during um, that's going to be playing at the film festival? Yeah, tonight is the premiere of Irony Catharsis. I was the producer, casting manager. Oh. Yeah, casting director, production manager. So that premieres tonight. I'm super excited. excited. And then Sunday we have a whole Transcending Pictures event that'll showcase all the movies we showed. Oh, wow. Yeah. Where do you find the time to be to, to a woman of many hats? Where do you find the time? A lot of multitasking. <laughs> That's so awesome. So uh, tonight, who are you looking forward to meeting or seeing? Yeah, um, I can't wait to meet Michael from Blair Witch Project. That will be very exciting because he's like an indie filmmaker inspiration. So cool. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing that you see so many actors branching off into to leaving that world and coming into this world where they're doing indie films and, you know, to, to have a platform for them is amazing. Yeah, they really look up to indie films. When they get that kind of recognition, it's just inspiring for everyone. Yes, no, it definitely is. So do you have any projects that you want to talk about for the viewers? I'm um, just excited for the premiere tonight, Irony Catharsis, um, and obviously this film festival. And I just, for the viewers, if you are working on a project, just see it through and promote it and just really work hard. Awesome. Yes, no, definitely. And you want to have your film played here at the, the Hudson Valley Film Festival next year. So where can they go and to get in contact so that they can get their film submitted and other items? Well, definitely follow us on Facebook so we can talk about next year's event. So keep posted and submit in the winter, fall, winter, and awesome. get ready for next year. Don't miss it next yeah. year if you missed it. Oh, yeah. We're so excited. So definitely look out for the Hudson Valley International Film Festival. We're very excited and it's so great to meet you. Great to meet you. Thank you. National Film Festival with the Lisa Pearl. How are you today? I am doing wonderful. Thank you, Miana. I'm so glad to be here. Yeah, I'm so excited. You do so many different things. You are do, you're a makeup artist. You do hair as well. You I do. do. You, you're an actress. I am. Um, and you have your own radio show. I have my own radio show. <laughs> that's, that's Pearl's the sea on city world radio network mm -hmm. um, i also work in production for canon legacy out of la now which is really exciting it's really ex it, it's really exciting um, i also work kind of behind the scenes encouraging and supporting musical artists which i keep really i keep it really quiet but i actually have been getting more involved in supporting them and that's come out of my radio show actually because i've got the perfect venue awesome. yes no definitely you have a great platform i do so it's so awesome i do yeah, is there any current projects that you're working on well, I am actually in the premiere film tonight. Yeah, oh, I am. That's exciting. I didn't know that. That's so exciting. Tell me about the film. Well, the film is called Irony of Catharsis. And I'm not the lead, but but you'll see me. Oh, <laughs> you'll definitely you are definitely going to see me. I am... Um, Featured in a number of different scenes, a couple of them kind of low key. Um, one of them, I am assuming that you're not going to recognize me at all. Look for the blonde wig and a big dragon. I'm a phoenix. It's a big phoenix henna. It was supposed to look like a tattoo. I had to toughen up. So please look for me. You're going to be shocked when you see what I'm doing. <laughs> That's so cool. What is the sh the movie about? Honest to God, I can't even explain it really well. You'll have to interview Janelle because she's the lead actor. All right. It's about a couple that goes through changes and discoveries and has issues. And she's kind of a tough girl. In fact, she kind of tells me off in one scene. And it's not the scene with the blonde wig. <laughs> um, but it's a lot of fun. Um, I don't even know how to explain it any more than that because I can't. It's one of those things you have to experience and you have to realize too when you're doing a film unless you are 
the lead yeah. and you're there from moment to moment and even then you might be filming out of sequence yes. it's so you, don't get to see everything you, you don't you don't even if you've got the script there's no guarantee that it's going to be a to z because chances are they're going to be doing turns and flips and let's do this scene before that scene and then who knows what gets cut and let's do that one again oh let's let's add something to it so the final product isn't something that anybody gets to see until tonight yes, awesome. so that's really exciting for you and tell me how the viewers can go to, to follow you and learn more about you. Okay, um, the best way to follow me is on Facebook and you can find me Lisa Pearl dot 1067 I believe Lisa Pearl you'll find me you'll see me I have lots of photographs I do a lot of posting I do a lot of live feeding um, in fact I have my, my trusty little iPhone tonight so I will probably be doing a few little behind the scenes interviews myself and doing some live feed because I do that I can't help myself I'm, I'm like you <laughs> I can't help myself oh thank you I love you too so you can find me there you can find me on Wednesday nights at WW www.cityworldradio.com and that's my show Pearls of the Sea and I broadcast out of Manhattan to the world. Awesome. I've got a really large growing worldwide audience which is really amazing. Oh good, awesome. It, it, it really is. Um, our station's network is I think number one in the U.S., number two in Italy. Wow. of all places and I've got people in Switzerland oh, wow. that call in and France I mean I, so cool. I I'm kind of blown away by it myself oh, actually awesome. so it's exciting. but it's a lot of fun okay. I have a lot of fun well, we're excited we're gonna um, check out the movie and see you in it and we're looking forward to that so look for me afterwards and let me know if you saw my many roles my many different personas <laughs> Have a great day, and we'll see Thank you Thank you, you too. It was great to see you again, honey. We are here with Phil Wiener. How are you? Okay. Well, I'm so excited. You have a show that you've been doing for years, and you have so many exciting artists and different people on your show. Tell me about your show. Well, uh, my show is called The Mr. Phil Show, and it's on in Port Jervis area, and it syndicates through the Hudson Valley as well as Manhattan and Brooklyn, and I work it with my uh, partner, co-host and director Mary Frost, and we just had our 20th anniversary show last week. Wow, that's amazing. You have such a great platform for people to come and be on your show. That's really exciting. Yes, it is. And then today, tonight you're here at the Hudson Valley International Film Festival, and you're in the film that's premiering tonight. Tell me about that. The irony of Catharis, I mean, it was a very interesting film doing the scene. It was exciting, and I really enjoyed it. I love doing films. It's a new thing for me, films, because I'm a singer, recording artist, and mainly TV host, where I've been on... Uh, over 30 different TV shows, whether it be local, and the biggest show I was on was Jimmy Kimmel Live, twice. That's exciting. How was that experience? Oh, it was great, going out to California and being on ABC TV twice, and then uh, I was also from that on America's Got Talent. Really? Yes. So what did you do on America's Got Talent? I did uh, one of my songs for my album, a comedy song. That's a, I have to actually YouTube that so I can... Oh, yeah, I got everything on YouTube if anybody wants to see. Yeah, so what, what is your YouTube channel? Uh, I'm on the regular YouTube. Oh, good, awesome. So yeah. let our viewers know on Facebook, where can they find you? Uh, they could find me on the, uh, Phil Wiener on Facebook. Also, I have another Facebook page, The Mr. Phil Show. Well, that's really exciting. We're looking forward to seeing you in this film. And um, before we leave, can you just tell us a little bit about your character? My character on the film. My car. Oh. <laughs> I know you have a lot of characters. <laughs> yeah. Different character on the film was being shot at. And how would you like somebody put pointing a gun to your face and shooting at you? But there's no bullets in the gun. Good, that's good, because God forbid, yeah. we'd have a case on our hands. 48 hours, maybe a new TV show? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but it's so great to speak with you. I'm honored. I, I love what you're doing. So um, we're very excited, and we look forward to speaking more with you in the future. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Antonio Rotunda, how are you today? I'm doing good. How about you? I'm 
doing really great. We're here and there's films being played. You're in films. Tell me about the films that you're in. Uh, I did uh, The Factory that was shot uh, a couple years ago now. You know, it finally made it here, which is great. Um, we're also doing a, a project right now that I'm part of. It's called Mi Familia. Um, we've shot many different scenes already. Uh, the, the main trailer was shot uh, probably about a couple months ago. So lo really looking forward to We're actually going to be shooting scenes this Wednesday, too. Oh, this coming exciting. Wednesday. Yep. Tell me a little bit about that film. Uh, it's... it's uh, it's an independent film about uh, like a, a mob family, and uh, you know there's all kinds of uh, crazy things going on in the family. So it's uh, it's going to be intense. I don't want to go into yes, too much, but it's mob family. Great. Like yes, yes. look out, everyone. Yeah, yeah. So it's dangerous. Gonna great. It's going to be great. Well, that's really exciting. Do you have a fan page on Facebook where our viewers can go to? I more about you? yep. I do have a, I do have an IMDb page. Uh, they can look it up under Antonio PC Rotundo. I also have a Facebook page, Antonio PC Rotundo, as well. They can check that out also. Well, that's really exciting. We're, I'm looking forward to seeing your films and featuring you on the Arts Interviews TV show. We're very excited. Thank you so much for okay. the interview. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. We're here with one of Hudson Valley's filmmakers. We're so excited to meet you. Tell me your name and about some of your projects. My name is Kwana J. Hicks and uh, I'm a director, writer, producer, singer, songwriter, composer, do a lot of things. But um, yeah, last year I finished uh, 1.7 Alpha, and that was in this festival. It was nominated Best Director last year. But now this new film, much bigger, better, sci-fi drama. Very excited about it. It's called Saturn's Window, and it's a book on Amazon, too. Um, so it's a it's feature-length film, sci-fi drama, lots of... Uh, the story has never been told before, so that's all I'm going to say about that. I don't want to give away too many details about it, but it's going to be really good. So look, around, you know, look out for it. Probably around this time next year, it should be done. Possibly in this festival, maybe in some others too. But uh, yeah, Saturn's Window, Amazon, check it out. Wow, that's actually really interesting, and to have a sci-fi that nobody's ever like really tapped into, that sounds really exciting. Yeah. I mean, I, I really feel that nobody has told this story. So, um, but I'm going to put a lot of you know, hard work into the post-production, make sure the, the music and the soundtrack is just on point along with the visuals, you know. I'm doing a lot of things for this film once again, like, uh, you know, the uh, sound design and because I'm an audio guy originally and I transitioned into film, um, writing and production as a whole. It's just a better platform to tell, you know, ideas. If you're a musician just doing that, you're, you're just saying things and, and sort of like uh, two-dimensional. Film is everything, you know. Yes, it is. Yeah. And, and then you can incorporate music and everything. So, I mean, you're somebody that is so multi-talented. Where did you first get your inspiration? Inspiration? I'm not sure where the inspiration alone came from. Um, but I started playing guitar when I was really young. And, you know, and I think early on I realized, like, this is what I'm going to be doing for the rest of my life. I thought it was just going to be music. But then, you know, you get to a certain point with music and playing different instruments and producing and mixing and mastering and composing. And you just feel like you want to expand some more. So film just felt like a natural sort of next thing to get into, you know. Well, that's really exciting. Um, where can the viewers go to find out more about you and your, your projects? Go to QEmpireProductions.com. So like the letter Q, EmpireProductions.com. That's it. Well, I'm looking forward to even featuring you on the, uh, the um, Arts Interviews TV show that we're on now. And I'm looking forward to seeing your projects in the future. Oh, cool, yeah. Remember the name, Kwana J. Hicks, Saturn's Window, 2017. So. Awesome. Enjoy your evening. Thank you. Mm -hmm. nice oh, you're welcome. You. With an actress from Middletown, New York. What is your name? Kelly Baxter. Oh, it's, gr it's great to meet you. And do, Are you working on any projects right now? Uh, well, I did American Brawler, and um, I'm not in anything playing tonight, but I did American Brawler a few months back, so I'm hoping for that to come out. Oh, awesome. So in that, uh, in that what, were you, what were you doing? What well, were you I was a stenographer. I played a stenographer um, in the scene. It was quite stressful, but I enjoyed it. Oh. Yeah. That's really exciting. Where can the viewers go to view more about you? Um, I have Facebook, Kelly Baxter, or Instagram, Kelly Diva one You can look me up there. Awesome. So in the future, what are you looking forward to doing more of? Um, I want to do more projects. I like hosting, too, and um, I'm hoping to be in more movies. And I did Dr. Oz. Maybe you guys seen me on Dr. Oz. Um, so I have a lot of stuff coming up, hopefully. That's cool. Tell me about that experience. That was fun. It was fun. It was stressful, but it was fun. Nervous, but, it, you know, it was fun. I had fun doing Dr. Oz. 
Yeah. Well, that's really exciting. We're looking forward to seeing more of your projects, and we're very excited about this interview. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. See you inside. Josephine, how are you? I'm doing very good. I'm excited to be here. I see you at so many different events. You're everywhere. Where do you find the time? Actually, I make the time and I enjoy doing all these events and being in the events. Awesome. And let me know about any of the projects you're working on. What? Uh, what projects are you working on? I'm working actually with like four, four to six different projects from the temple and I'm very excited. My last project was actually with kids and I had to beat Donald Duck on a hot day. That's so awesome. And where can our viewers go to support you? Excuse me? Where can our viewers go to support you? To support you, where can the viewers go? Oh, to support me, they can go to, actually, they can go to Temple Sinai. We have a new young rabbi who's really hip. His name is uh, Rabbi Marcus Rubenstein, and he's 27 years old. He's getting married. He got married three days ago, and we're celebrating it tomorrow. So I want to wish him congratulations, and get it on. Well, that's so exciting. So we're looking forward to seeing you at more events. And um, have a wonderful day. Enjoy the, the premiere. I have to actually invite you to come to the temple and meet everybody. Oh, yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, definitely and excited. Enjoy. actually, we're having a ball, a really nice, fancy ball. And maybe you should come to that. I think it'll be really, you'll have a good time. Good. We're excited. So everybody, support. Yes. Make sure that you all volunteer in your community because without you volunteering, nothing really gets done. And it helps a lot. So yeah. oh, awesome. Hudson Valley International Film Festival and we have an amazing person with us today. Tell me about you and what your projects are. Well, I'm Roseanne Sarita and I have a jazz trio that I do, but I'm just doing my first album, an original album that I write and arrange and produce myself. And we just released our first music video that my very dear friend Stephen William Tenor directed for me and also co-starred and we filmed it in the Hudson Valley and um, it is going to be shown tomorrow and I'm ecstatic I'm so so exciting how was how was it uh, the whole experience it was divine I it, it was just like a miracle how everything went it was a 14 hour shoot and everything went perfectly we did it in one day you know we have low budget so got a lot of friends and then, you know, of course, I had recorded the song in the studio with uh, Pete Levin and Scott Petito and uh, several others um, up at uh, NRS Studios first. So the single is released. It's called It's Called Love. And, of course, we have It's Called Love music video to go along with it. And um, still in the studio. I'm finishing up the album. We're hoping for the end of October to be done. And... I'm just so excited about things that are going to come, traveling and doing another video. I have many songs that I've written and I want to produce and write scripts for to make more videos in this area because there's so much to do. Wow. That's so exciting. And where can the viewers go to support you? What can excuse the viewers go to support you? They can go to RoseanneSarita.com. And also I'm at Sarita Music. It's S-U-R-E-D-A music on Facebook and Reverb Nation. I also have my music on there. But uh, look for the album. It's called Love. It's, it's coming out. And I have the most amazing players, top jazz and blues players in the Hudson Valley playing it there. And it's all, it's an eclectic album. It's not jazz and blues. It's, it's everything. So we're looking forward to it. Well, that's great. We'll definitely support and we're looking forward to that. Yes. God bless. Thank you. We are here with the main lead of this amazing film. Tell me about the film and how was it working on it? Uh, it was a lot of fun, but uh, also very, you know, it, it was difficult at times, but uh, truly a great experience. Um, definitely a good learning experience. And I'm excited to see how it all, how hard work pays off. No, it definitely is really exciting. Was there any challenges that you faced during filming this? Oh, every day was a challenge, you know. Every day you're just trying to get through, like figuring out, you know, how your character deals with certain situations. It just, everything I take on is a challenge. There was no easy day. And do you have any future projects that you wanted to talk about? 
Uh, sure, I have a couple of projects actually. There's one that I'm writing myself. Um, it's I, I don't want to give too many details about it as well, but I uh, just got done with a short film called The Archivist. Uh, that's something to be looking out for. It should be arriving hopefully in Tribeca Film Festival this year. Um, and yeah, that's... Wow, well, that's really exciting. Where can the viewers go to support you? Um, they can go to danshanen.com or they could find me on Instagram at danshanen um, and Facebook as well. Awesome. We're excited seeing you tonight on the big screen and we're very excited about your career. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming. We're here with Janelle Tana. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm so excited to meet you. I'm following you on Facebook. You are doing everything that an actress can do. Thank you. Tell me about... You. Yes, it is me. <laughs> I was like, I know her, and I'm like, I'm scared, but I'm like, oh, thank you. But I'm so excited to meet you, and you have a premiere tonight, and you are the star. Tell me about it. Thank you. Um, so tonight is the Irony of Catharsis premiere. We um, shot this movie for nine long weeks last summer in the Hudson Valley area, and um, it really is a love story. It's a dramedy. Yeah, it's a drama and a comedy, and my character, um, Roxy, you can think of her as a bad girl gone good. Like, she's like... You know, she's kind of a wild child. She loves her purple hair, her nose ring. But you know, she just like anybody else, she has a fragile state and a, and a past. So um, yeah, she really takes you on a wild ride along with David. So played by Dan. So it's, awesome. yeah. That's so exciting. And then look at the other projects that you have. Yeah. Tell me about some of those. So tomorrow, um, so tonight I'm the leading lady. Um, I, you know, I'm strictly an actor. Tomorrow we have Sienna's Choice premiering, which I am the executive producer and co-writer and also the lead actress. And um, that's a polar opposite of what you'll see tonight. It's very much about women's health and also um, end of life decisions that we face. Like who, who makes the decisions when we're at life's end and, and what does life really mean? So um, I'm, I'm nervous because that's like, you know, the weight is on my shoulders. And <laughs> but, um, you know, I really hope everyone can tune in for both films and yeah. Well, that's so exciting. And, and to hear that you are not only just an, act, you know, an actress that's doing so many great movies and so many great parts, because I'd be watching, <laughs> but, um, but to see that you are also producing and doing so many things like that is an amazing thing. Thank you. I mean, definitely was a lot of work and it's very interesting to see the other hats of the story and how much goes into making a movie from pre-production to post-production that when you're acting, you might not realize if you haven't done that, you know, um, and I think it's good for people in the other hats too to even get involved in acting a little bit just to see what the actor's going through, what they're thinking and their process. So That's so cool. And I have to ask, did you see yourself being here as a little girl? You know, it's interesting. Um, I always wanted to be an actor, but life kind of took me in other routes. And, um, but always in the back of my head, I knew I wanted to be in movies. Um, when I would read about certain characters and how certain actors prepared for those characters, I would think, well, that's what I would do, or that makes sense. So. And then fate just took me to New York City. I started training, yeah, training at the Lee Strasberg Institute, and um, took it from there two and a half years ago. So, look how fast. <laughs> I mean, you, you're good because I mean, that was fast for an actress. That was really fast. So you're definitely blessed. We're looking forward to the movie tonight and to see you starring in it. And I'm excited. We finally got her. Yay! The arts interviews. <laughs> I finally met you. It was wonderful. <laughs> and I look forward to following you and um, hopefully premiering you on our show one day and having your own segment. That would be great. I would appreciate that. Well, enjoy the night. Enjoy your honor and everybody just loving what you're doing. Thank you so much, dear. You too. <laughs> Otunga, so excited. You're here in the Hudson Valley at the Hudson Valley International Film Festival. This is very exciting. A superstar here in the Hudson Valley. Oh, How are you. you doing? I'm fantastic. I'm excited to be here. Well, we're uh, excited I to have you. turned down the Steve Harvey show to be here, so you know. Yeah. We're excited. I know you're excited as well. And let me know about the films that you're in. Uh, I'm in the film called What Happened Last Night. I played Tiny. It's a super fun comedy. It's going to be really good, really good. Hope you. I'm like Tiny. <laughs> well, I mean, obviously because I'm I'm Tiny. I mean, you get it, you know. 
That's so funny. And is there anything that you're working on in the future that we'd like to tell our guest about? Yeah, you know, the director of this film, Candace Kane, is super talented. And, you know, I loved working with her so much that she's put me in other stuff. And so now, I mean, we have a, a TV series coming out and we have two other films lined up and one that she's letting me help her write on. That's something I've always wanted to do is be a screenwriter. So now I'm getting my feet wet in that and getting to write alongside her, which is awesome. So I'm just learning so much and I, I'm really excited. I hope everybody enjoys this film. It's so fun. Make sure you check it out. Oh, definitely, we will be checking it out. And where can the viewers go to check the film out? Check the f here at Hudson Valley. Otherwise, it's going to be in theaters. Yes. <laughs> AMC, you name it. November 4th is opening date. What happened last night? Because wow. we've all been there. Well, yes. I don't know but if you have, but I've been there. In college, had a really good night. You wake up the next day and you're like, man, what, what happened last night? And ask your friends and kind of piece it together. So it's really fun. Well, that sounds really fun. Well, we're excited. Again, honored. You're here in the Hudson Valley, and we're just honored. Thank you for having me. I'm honored. What's going on with you, girl? Well, thank you so much. Um, new music. Um, I just wrapped up touring with the Broadway musical Fela. And, um, oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. and um, my new single dropped. Um, it's called If We Had Your Eyes. If We Had Your Eyes? It's, Tell us about oh, that. Honey, If We Had Your Eyes is just basically, can we make sure that we see people the way God sees us and them? God sees Hallelujah. us. Hallelujah. You know yeah. You're so inspirational like Mother Diva over here. Well, the thing is, you know, it, it helps me to have more love and compassion, less judgment. Here in the Hudson Valley, how are you doing? I'm fantastic. I'm excited to be here. Oh, well, we're uh, excited I to have you. turn down the Steve Harvey show to be here, so you know. <laughs> yeah. We're excited. I know you're excited as well. And let me know about the films that you're in. Uh, I'm in the film called What Happened Last Night. I played Tiny. It's a super fun comedy. It's going to be really good, really good. Hope you. I'm like Tiny. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, obviously because I'm I'm Tiny. Yeah, I mean, you get it, you know. That's so funny. And is there anything that you're working on in the future that we'd like to tell our guest about? Yeah, you know, the director of this film, Candace Kane, is super talented, and you know. I <laughs> 